What is up, YouTube? Derek here, and I have a incredible, incredible pickups video. Uh, I wanted to make this video last week. I've been very, very sick for the last two weeks. I've got uh, laryngitis, bronchitis, and pleurisy. And I'm still very sick, so I'm going to try to get through this video without coughing up a fucking lung. Um, and I was going to wait till tomorrow, but I actually have a package coming I want to do its own video for tomorrow. But what really made me want to do this today, I just, I, I caught my game store slipping big time. This was an incredible find. But, I'm going to save it for last, but the other stuff I have is also an incredible, incredible find. But I'll, I'll tell the story. Me and my buddy went down to the beach uh, last week on Saturday. Uh, and we went to our normal thrifting. And I felt fine on Saturday until the afternoon, which is when the laryngitis developed. But we went down to the beach. But before we even left... His neighbor was having a yard sale. I met him at his house. His neighbor was having a yard sale. I was like, you know what? I'm going to walk up there and just see if they have anything. And sure enough, I walk up and there is a big box of PS2 games. Two bucks a piece. There were quite a few I was interested in, but unfortunately, most of the discs were trash. So I only picked two, but they're two that I wanted, and they're not exactly the cheapest games. But we got Road Trip. This is one of my favorite PS2 games. I played it all the time when I was a kid. It's an RPG. Um, your car and the goal is, you know, you have to win a bunch of races to become president of the world. And it's just a really great game. Part of the Choro Q series. And then I thought for two bucks, this is a great deal. I think this is like a $20 game right now too. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. It's not three. I would have really been liked it to be three, but, you know, I'll take two. Don't have that one yet. Um, so that was awesome. Then, after that, we headed down towards the beach and stopped at our first thrift store, and I found Spyro Year of the Dragon for 99 cents. Really unfortunate this is the greatest hits because I, I'm not going to put it on my shelf as a greatest hits. I'll probably just sell it. Um, and then for two bucks, I thought this was a pretty good deal. This wasn't with the games, though. It was on a shelf with the toys, like in the back of the store. So that was bizarre. But it was Persona 4 Arena for two bucks. So that was awesome find. Um, so that was great. Then, after that, there are two flea markets down there that we go to. And for a dollar each... Um, my putty was looking at some games on the table, and for some reason, I just happened to turn to the left, and sticking out of a crate right in front of me was Double Dash. Complete, in nice shape, works. Don't have this game, so I should, I'm should. i probably going to hang on to it. Um, and unfortunately, this one's player's choice, <coughs> but you know I'll sell it to recoup some money, and I'll, I'll find a black label. It's a cheap game. Um, but Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. So I thought, you know, dollar a piece for those. Uh, great deal. I was cool with that. Uh, so after that, we headed to the next flea market. That was all we found there. And my buddy actually, well, actually, I came across him, but I let him buy him. It was a stack of 7,800 games for a dollar each. And some rare 7,800 games. I know Fatal Run was in there and Ball Blazer. Those are not cheap games, even loose. But sitting on top, sitting on top of this stack of 7,800 games is a game for a console I've never owned. I've never even seen one in person. I've never seen any of the games. But it's Armor Attack for the Vectrex. I, I mean, okay, granted, it's like the most common game. It's a cheap game. Like $15, $20, I think, maybe for this. But... Just to find a Vectrex game was amazing. And then also in that 7800 stack were a couple ColecoVision games. Um, but uh, there was a double of this 7800 game, so he gave me this one. It's Pole Position 2. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And he had a double of victory. But uh, I'm shifting my focus, I think, to only buying 
boxed games. And I know some people are going to be saying, oh, that's stupid. Oh, it's expensive. You know, it'll take you forever. Yeah, well, that's fine. You know, I'll pay up for some of the games that I do want. But, you know, so I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But here's where the fines just get mind-blowing. We're leaving the beach. We have one stop left. And as we're walking up, I'm like, oh. We, and we both look at it. like, oh, stack of VHS tapes, which he collects. And I buy music tapes, like old music tapes. And sure enough, we get up there and he goes, that's Infiltrator for the NES. And then he's like, oh, Operation Wolf. And it's a stack of, like, mint, complete in box NES games for $7 a piece. Granted, I wish they were a little cheaper, but $7 a piece was more than I, you know, I was more than happy to pay that for any of them. Um, so I bought seven of them. He bought the other seven. Uh, he ended up with uh, Thunderbirds, Desert Commander, MiG-29, um... Iron Tank, Infiltrator, Operation Wolf, and one other one, which I can't remember offhand. But I got these. Um, and this is probably the least exciting, but they're all in such good condition. And this is really what sparked me. I was like, you know, I think I'm only going to collect box games purely for this. But we got Airwolf. Battle Tank. And, like, look at these boxes. Like... Just incredible. Great shape. Uh, this is a game I've actually always wanted to try. Uh, Laser Invasion. This one has a little like dent right there. But still, $7 is less than this game goes for. Uh, Jackal, which this might be missing a manual. Yeah, I don't think this one has a manual, but still, I'll find a manual for that one. Um, this one might be my favorite just because of the box art. It's not a game that I particularly want to play, but it does look fun. It kind of looks like, um, kind of looks like a Cabal, maybe, but it's mechanized attack. Look at that box. That is fucking awesome. We've got Twin Cobra. And finally, uh, another one of my favorites, just because of the box art, is Twin Eagle. Seven dollars a piece. Amazing. So after that, I was like, you know, we got back, and I was like, man, I am itching for some more box Nintendo games. So I went to one of the local stores around here, and I found Home Alone Two. Uh, it was marked at fifteen. He took ten. It's complete. You know, the box isn't perfect, but it's not, like, crushed. It's got a slight crush on this side, but the display side is fine. Um, so I got that. And then I stopped by the other game store, which is, coincidentally, like, right down the road. I don't know how they're both in business. Um, this was not in fantastic shape. It was only $5. Silent Service. Again, it's, like, the most common game, but, you know, it's in good, decent enough shape for $5. <coughs> So my NES collection really just took a big jump. But that's not even the most incredible thing. So yesterday while I was at work, uh, my local local game store, like which is right down the road, was across the street from where I work and I was on break. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop in. And I can't believe what I found. Now, I'll start with the one purchase I made for about what it's worth. Um, but it's a pretty nice condition box and cartridge for 1080 uh, the box isn't perfect. It it does this. It's got a little tear right there, but I'll upgrade eventually. This was only fifteen. Uh, like I said, it's just the cartridge, no manual. But I actually found the manual and the registration card on eBay for just a couple bucks. So there's the cartridge in really really good condition. Uh, my first box in sixty four game, and this is a game that I love, and I paid fifteen dollars for it just because I do love this game. I played it all the time when I was a kid, so I was. Super, uh, super happy with uh, that. But here's the incredible find. They recently got a uh, whole, somebody traded in their entire collection 
of like NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, 32X, you know, all that. And I was looking through some of the Saturn games, and they were priced, and I was like, all right, well, I want to look at a couple of the Sega CD games. And I cannot believe what I found. Marked at fourteen ninety nine. This game is like a hundred to a hundred and twenty dollars, maybe even a little more. But for fifteen bucks, Robo Elise complete. It's not perfect. Um, the barcode has a couple holes punched in it, but the disc looks great. Um, the manual looks good. Yeah, the disc is like minty. Um, but for those that don't know, this is actually the sequel to Musha, which is really ironic because seven years ago when I started collecting, I found Musha at this game store boxed for $3. So go figure, I wait seven years and I get the sequel for 15 bucks. Like I said, not the most expensive game, but still, you know, it's like 100 120 for 15 bucks. And I think I might actually leave the price tag on it just because I want to remember just that I found this for $15. But this is, um, I if I can insert a clip, I will. If not, I'll make a separate video later this week. I found this cool little uh, table for free that lifts up like as a display. So I'm going to keep all my like rare or expensive games in it. And this is definitely going in that. But that's the video, guys. Incredible finds. I, uh, probably going to be slowing down a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm only buying boxed games now, so it'll be a slow process to get the games that I want or whatever. But, uh, I'm looking forward to the future of collecting. I'm having a really fun time with it, and... I actually have something really cool coming in the mail, hopefully tomorrow, which I will be making a video of. Uh, it was a Nintendo Age purchase. But just incredible, guys. I hope you all enjoy, and I will see you all next time.